Asking for the reason when deleting records. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Okay, here I have a small project with three tables. The user table is just so I can sign on to the application. Banks is just a list of banks, could be a list of anything. And it's from this table where we will delete records. And then I have a third table, Delete Reasons. This is where we will store the reason why you delete something from the banks table. And this is what we have so far. You can see banks, list of a few banks. You can add. Uh, delete Reasons is currently empty. So if you see, we have a Delete button over here but the button is inactive and that is because no records are selected if you select any of these records or all of them then the button becomes active and this is the question when you click delete the application will ask do you really want to delete these records but many of you ask how can you change this pop-up message to not only ask but but also ask for an actual reason why you want to delete these records in other words like an input box where you can type something okay so let's go back to the project let's select the banks table i'm going to go to the page screen you can see i have your list edit add and delete now it's not recommended to untick delete because if you untick delete you will also lose the actual tick boxes so let's leave the delete option ticked i'm gonna now go to the designer page here we can see i have the delete button now there's two ways you can delete this button you can either just click on it and remove it which I will probably do here or you can click on it and copy the code that will actually hide this button now I've done this in many other tutorials let's just this time remove the button like that let's add a new button insert custom button call it delete selected okay I'm gonna make this button like a warning or danger so it's nice and red but this button will now always be active so how can i make my button also to be inactive when no records are selected let's just go to the events page on the banks javascript onload event and here i'm going to create a variable with the custom button declared now okay let me quickly just show you on the designer page when you select this button the name of the button is actually showing up over here now in your case it could be custom button one two three four whatever how many buttons you have on this particular page in my case i only have one so it's only custom button back at the event page First, I'm going to add a class that will disable the button. And you can see here, I use the add class button, disabled. Now we want to test if any of these selection buttons are clicked, or when the check all button is clicked. To do that is by using the following code. Here you can see when anything with selection is ticked or when choose all is selected. We are going to remove the class which I just added over here and else we will add a class again. Now this is coming straight from the dev club. If you are not part of the dev club please join immediately. I left a link in the description there's valuable information being shared to all of us over there now let's go to the client before event of this button 
again this time i'm going to use the dialog api i'm not going to explain too much about the dialog api as it's been explained a couple of times in my tutorials simply just a reason reason for deletion it's a dialog uh, on the bottom of this page here's my fields i have one field uh, the label is why are you deleting it's a text area so you can type some text in there and we have an OK and a Cancel. Please go and watch some of my other tutorials. The Dialog API is explained in detail. At the server event, I need to get the current user. I want to know who is the user. Not only do I want to know who's the user, I also want to know what's today's date. The delete reason is coming from the previous event, from this field over here. And now we are going to get all the selected records in this event. Again, this was also explained previously, but now during this loop of all selected records, I am going to do two things. First, I will insert the reason into my reason table. Why? we are deleting this record and the second thing i will do is to actually delete the record because this is now a different button we are clicking so we manually will have to delete this record to insert the reason i just create an insert array and here we go in this table we can accept a couple of things the reason why we are deleting this record the user deleting the record when was it deleted the actual value that was deleted and maybe also the id that was deleted you can obviously set up your own fields here this is what i have set up okay and finally i will delete the record using the api the database api delete from the banks table uh, where id equals the selected data which is coming from here id so it's going to insert a record for each and every record that you are deleting or selected and it will then delete those records as simple as that syntax looks good and then at the client after event i'm simply going to reload the page now you can approach this in many ways you like I personally would not delete this record. I would rather prefer an update to sort of flag the record uh, that it's been deleted, but it's not really removed from the database like I'm doing in this case. Anyway, it's, it's all up to you. Now let's see how this works. Okay, let's refresh the page. And as you can see that the alt or the previous delete button is now not on the page anymore i have my own custom button over here but the button is kind of you can't click it but if i make a selection the button becomes available and if i select all so let's just select one or two of these records let's select those two and here the dialog api is asking for a reason whatever my reason and i click delete it will now refresh the page and we only have three records left if i now go to my delete reasons here we have the two that i have deleted thank you very much for watching hopefully this was helping somebody